welcome back, everybody, to D&D Blender Presents Expedition from the Barrier Peaks. I am your humble DM, Tim, and today we have two members, which is now currently the full cast, as Flickr has decided to uh, sadly leave the campaign, uh, but we wish him the best with uh, all his future endeavors. But for today, we have Talon. No. No one and, calls me a fool and gets away alive. <laughs> and we have uh, Scarthrax. So, <laughs> sorry for God's sake. I was moving on to Flicker, but he's not I'm here. I'm sorry, we have. <laughs> he's not here anymore. Uh, in the previous session, uh, the group had uh, made a deal with the architect of the Tomb of Horrors to infiltrate a temple uh, down river who they have basically been involved in a prank war slash industrial espionage with sending spies to sabotage each other. Um, the group was sent specifically to retrieve the two rubies from the eyes of the statue of Moloch somewhere in this temple uh, so that the gemsmith can uh, can complete her demi-lich skull. Uh, upon entering the facility you encountered a very strange looking spider which you squished and then a large wow. amount of Lizard men, which you also squished and beat into a bloody pulp, uh, making and you frightened. and frightened. Yes, locked a whole bunch of them in their their barracks, and they're panicking. So you managed to avoid the fight there, making your way through the the temple, encountering this storage room and a bunch of random animals. Uh, but nothing of uh, great note there. And then coming into this area here, let me just move Talon in here to reveal the room, where you guys encountered uh, a torture chamber, uh, which was powered by a device which contained one of the components for the infernal machine of Lum the Mad that you were also sent to retrieve by your uh, gnome artificer, Qualish. Entering into this room, you found a whole bunch of cloning vats with one clone that was awake. You freed the clone, the clone proceeded to insult you, and Talon proceeded to murder the shit out of the man uh, as he was attempting to make his way out of the room, but not before potentially setting off an alarm. Uh, you have a, a very badly injured human... Uh, rogue with you uh, who was uh, one of the ones you freed from the torture chamber as well as Nullzor who you freed from the tomb of horrors where his blood was being used to uh, create all sorts of bizarre artworks uh, but that is where it stands players the game is yours Nullzor uh, just for the time being, is going to pop over into this corner here and hide. He is thus completing his transformation into solid snake. <laughs> yeah, he's painted himself a box. Yes, he's created a box, so now he's just going to hide in the box in the corner. Colonel, can you hear me? I don't think they noticed that I'm a box. So... <laughs> Day 16. Uh, Still haven't realized I'm not a bomb. <laughs> this food is starting to taste rather dry, though. <laughs> um, oh, Scarthrax. Shift, shift your hand to at least you put it right over the top of the action. Thank you. Sorry. It's over the top. Uh, I feel like that dude, like, did some weird wizard shit to talk to someone else. So prepare yourself for Biff round two. Um... Did I take... There was a ping on that console, wasn't there? There was a ping on the console. Uh, there was a gem. You, uh, that, the, your last action before the game uh, ended last session. Was to pry the gem out. Was to pry the gem out. Was to Which shut is, down all the tubes and pry the gem out. Yeah, well, when you pry the gem, the tubes shut down. That's why. So. Yeah. A half um, glitty body's going to start sliding out of the tubes, though. It's like, <laughs> here's, here's some that we didn't, we didn't quite finish cooking. Mm. 
I don't know if we told them to open when we shut them down. No, no, you just, you, you just turned it off. They, they just basically, all the lights turned off. And they're no, yeah. they're no longer bubbling on the inside, so you don't know what's yeah. going on. The, the stew has been turned off simmer. Um, so I guess, I guess Scarthrax, um, considering that uh, there is a high probability that the wizard did some magic talky thing, and uh, I've now probably killed the rest of his other bodies, we're going to have a very pissed off wizard who um, can put out some high level hurt when he wants to. Um, well, if I remember correctly, I'm currently less than fifty percent health points. Uh, <laughs> we can that. fix. We can fix this. Yeah. Um, now, I do believe that when our friend disappeared into the Jupi Tunnel of Doom, um, we did end up with a couple of those special healing. Oh yes, you got from the I, ship. I forgot to send you uh, his bag of holding, but yes, you do have uh, the uh, the healing canisters if you wish to. I would use one of those because you bring you back up to four. I'm mostly okay for now. Yeah, so give me a second here, I will. I need to roll 12d12 then, is that it? Uh, mm -hmm. It's only, only if you want to use all the charges in it. Uh, and I did realize actually we've been using them wrong. Um, you don't mm -hmm. get to set the number of charges you utilize in a single action, you just use one charge per action. So. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. The, the the charge setting thing, that was a carryover from my version of the canisters. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Because in mine, you, so, can, you, you set, you, in my version, you'd set the dose and then you'd inject and you'd get that many doses in. But this one, you just go, and you get 2d12 healing. So just do 2d12 at a time until, okay. you, until <laughs> you use up as much as you, as you need. Oh, 23 on my first roll. Nuts. Nuts. Still not bad. Not bad. Oh, wow, that's three elevens. 15. Mm, nice. Cause that's six charges, yeah, out of twelve. No, no, that's three charges because each charge does oh. two twelve. Yeah. Um. So yeah, on one of the things that we have, I've used three charges. I'm going to stop there because I am now pretty comfortable. I might let me have a hit of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we we did growl at Flicker for his drug use ideas, but this is starting to feel very similar. It's fine. Puff, puff, pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scarface is a very ang dragon. He's so, quite a little of that. Yes, Scarface is quite angry, so you know maybe that's how he relaxes. All right, so um, hit yourselves up. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Right, use one more. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, 22 again. There you go. Very nice. All right, so that canister's got one charge left, and the the lady here goes, is that, is that some sort of healing potion, please? <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. give it to her. She's I'll, got I'll, most I'll, of her skin is missing, so she's not, not looking uh, well. She's getting 11. <laughs> Alright. Cool. <laughs> Just roll back for her. <laughs> yeah. So her hit points go up to 12 because she had one hit point remaining. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Alright. I mean, that, I can, look, uh, that canister is empty. Alright. Um, I mean, I can, I can always use a spell to, to boost her up a bit if. No, no. Save, save your smells, spells for smiting people. Mm. Um, save my smells for spiting people. Yes. <laughs> yeah. you got to smell, uh, gotta smell spite people. So. Yeah. Um, um, while you guys like, are... curing yep. diseases or something like that, like yes. the stuff that we can't heal with other tools. Yeah. All right. So while you guys are in this room, mm -hmm. um, you actually notice um, T 
Talon in on this bench where the control is, there's actually a few uh, different jars and bits and pieces in there. Um, one of the jars has uh, a skull and crossbones on it. Um, one of them has um, the head of a wolf with a, with a, a circle and a line through it. Um, another one has the image of a mummy with a circle and a line through it. And another one has uh, a skull and crossbones with a circle and a line through it. Okay. I'm gonna collect these jars and put them in my bag because they look interesting. Um, All right. Uh, there's also uh, some glass blowers' pl- tools uh, and some tinkers' tools as well, but I don't know if they'll be of any use to you guys. So. Uh, I don't know about Tinker's tools. Just accidentally clicked out of my character. Um, let me scroll across to what I'm proficient in. Not my equipment. Keep scrolling, please. <laughs> Why does it have to be so difficult? I do not know. Proficiencies and languages. I am not proficient in alchemy stuff, so I'll just collect them. I'm thinking if I take them back to Qualish, he might find something of use for them. Mm. Or maybe, mm. um, pretty sure the skull and crossbones is like the universal sign for poison. So, worst case scenario, I'll dip some arrows in it or something. Test it out, someone we don't like. Alright. Uh,. At this point, I had to find where this guy was in the fog of war. <laughs> uh, this door here opens up, and you see a very bizarre looking creature coming into the room. Uh, let me get, where is it here? Hang on. I had the descriptor up, I lost it. Fuck. Alright. Um,. You see a humanoid figure with the head of a snowy owl coming in with two daggers, and he looks at you, and the head tilts almost like 90 degrees to the side. It looks at then you hear, Whoo! And he charges at you. Roll for it, please. Oh, gosh. And you hear... Not you, even... Time you, to say hello. You see, you see uh, the human see when when they see this this figure just goes, oh god, it's him! And she begins to run away. <laughs> okay, that's a good sign. Uh, and Beth, I'll just put it at the bottom. All right. So you see <laughs> this character he comes charging towards you, Scarthrax. This is the I know it doesn't get surprised around because I'm there. You're there. I'm All right, there. cool. So Nelzor. He just he's gonna stay hidden because he doesn't wanna interfere just yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Talon. I mean, he did very recently come back from being basically yes. an invalid, so exactly. now he's a box. He lacks his life. Mm-hmm. Um I am going to withdraw a few steps and shoot him. Okay. Um now, if I remember correctly, because I have features and traits for things, and I have to scroll now to find it. Um, ambush Master, you have advantage on initiative rolls, got that anyway, and attack rolls against the first creature you hit during the first round of combat. Alright, let me start again. Yes, yeah, so you, you get advantage on anyone who hasn't had their turn yet. On the first creature you hit during the first round of combat. Talon. If I remember correctly, everyone has advantage to attack the first creature that I attack. Right. If they're within 30 feet of me or something. So it's features and traits, sneak attack, Yeah, and cans. ambush master down the bottom. Mobility. Ambush master. You have advantage on each of rolls. You hit... Um, yeah, pop out the side thing because the, that initial text is really 
Oh, okay. You have advantage on initiative rolls. In addition, the first creature you hit during the first round of combat becomes easier for you and others to strike. Attack rolls against that target have advantage until the start of your next turn. Okay, cool. So if you hit him... Everyone gets... Everyone gets advantage. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right, so... <laughs> okay. 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 I hit him. Yeah, you hit him. Uh, 3d8. All right. So, how many? How many d6s is it to sneak attack for you? Seven d6. Uh, seven. Other, do I get sneak attack? Is he within five feet? Uh. Right. No, he's not. You don't get sneak attack. Yeah, right. yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so three d eight plus twenty four plus five. Twelve plus twenty four plus five. Uh, Thirty six forty one. Forty one. Yeah, nearly forty two. 41 points of... You hit him, you hit him damage. with the laser, he's like, Woo! <laughs> and then, I'll duck around the corner and yeah. quote-unquote hide. hide. All right. He's glowing real good for you, Scarthrax. Mm -hmm. Hit him hard. That ends my turn. I'm gonna roll to hide. 23. Okay. <laughs> Just rolled a natural 20 and a natural 1, but broke mm. stuff, so 23. Nice. <laughs> it's a natural 1, I mean 23. Yeah. Natural 1, 23. It's like, what the fuck? All right, cool. Yep. So <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, all yours there. Well, um, hmm. no. Well, maybe. Just not as much as sausage and cheese. <laughs> um, spiritual weapon. All right. Fourteen. Uh, misses. wasn't It wasn't a good roll for the spiritual weapon. But yeah, but so. it, gets, it gets advantage though. Remember because. Oh, uh, in that case, I should roll, roll, roll a yeah. second attack. Yeah. I well, say so, no. It's two dice, isn't it? Yeah. Just just roll just roll again to see if you hit. Yeah. Twenty. No wait, eighteen. Eighteen hits. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it's eighteen, and that's. That one there. Four, six damage. Six. Oh, it's bleeding now. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to hit him with the. I'm going to hit him with a flail. All right, come on in. Uh, first actual attack mm -hmm. is twenty-seven. Oh, <laughs> you still rolling with advantage? Ah, no. Do I need to roll the second dice? Or well, you if, get a natural 20. I say, if you, if you don't, okay, here's the thing. You don't have to, but it's advisable because you might get a crit. Yeah. No. no. Not, a, not a crit. Um, so I might boost this to... I'm just going to use a level 3 smite. Mm -hmm. So it's 5d8 mm -hmm. plus 2d6 plus 5, isn't it? Because it's your strength yeah. bonus. 28 plus 38 uh, 43 no, 42 42 42, 42. Oh. total He did not enjoy that at all. Um, he's still up, though. Uh, it is his turn now, but also coming in this door here. So I just need to borrow you for a moment, Talon. Big fuck off lizard thing. That. Just fell over, so I'm not worried about it at all. <laughs> so we got 
three big fuck off lizard thing. They come in. What was the smoke for again? Oh, there's steam pipes there. That's just there for effect. Ah. There it is. This area is um, like a partial alchemical lab. So. Uh, Beth is gone. She's just running away. The box is being a box. Yes. It's just a box. Uh, oh. I'm going to maintain box status as these things go past. We need to do a thing here. So they were off of there. Initially, at this time, they may jump up. Uh, they. Perception plus three. They're going to be looking around. So I wonder if they'll have advantage because you're not really that well revealed. No, so they don't spot you just yet. They just walk straight past you. Coming out of the, stick, coming out of the smoke. Uh, Ardris. Well, Andrus, I should say, is his name. He is going to uh, stab you, or at least attempt to stab you twice. Scarfrax, he gets advantage on Hello. this. Uh, nope. Second attack. Uh, twenty-one. That's gonna not get you though, is it? Still. No. Uh, still a bit short. Alright, cool. He stabs you, or attempts to stab you. Fails to do so. This door is open, I should say. Um, realizing things are not going his way, he's gonna go. Whoo! And he's gonna bonus action disengage. Five. Do I get a free strike? Dis bonus action disengage, you don't get to attack if he disengages. 20, 25, 30 to here. Ooh, I have an idea. stepped up to stab. Sorry? What was that? Go on. Tell him. He stepped up to stab, yeah. Uh, I'm being particular about how many squares he moves just to make sure Scarthrax can chase him. Yeah, Scarthrax can chase him because Scarthrax stepped up to hit him, so he's been, was in hit range. Oh, right, anyway. right, right. Yeah. Okay. I missed that bit. Yeah. I was digging for a mouse. Oh, good. Uh, all right. Nelzor, he's going to <sighs> pop out of his box form and uh, double crossbow. Uh, nope. Misses both the renders. Like, damn it. Back into a box. So. <laughs> um, Talon, you are surrounded by sexy lizards. Not like. Do you not want? This corridor was supposed to be safe. No place is safe. Uh, that lizard's got a belly button ring. I'm saying he's a sexy lizard. <laughs> I feel like stab and run away is in play here. Mm -hmm. um, although it ended its turn next to me, didn't it? Correct. So I could have used my reaction to run away. Stab. Wasn't paying mm. attention. Mm. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's stab it. It doesn't know I'm there. Big stab. Of something. <laughs> I have to go back into D and D Beyond. <laughs> I don't remember what my dagger is. Because I don't use it very often. No. Uh, dagger's still plus eight. So. Plus eight. So, 25? Yeah. That hits, yes. Barely. Um, <laughs> and then 1d4 plus three plus 76. So, 1d4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All these invisible dice that I can't see. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, 34 points of damage. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to disengage and run away. Okay. 35, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, can I go in between the boxes, please? 40. Yep. And sort of like behind them. Okay. So I'm slightly obscured, so they're more likely to run for Scarfrax than me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to face off with one, something that's like three times my size. That's fair. Done. All right, Scarthrax. All right, oh, now big lizards. You hear big. Set you hear Talon screaming big lizards, and you also hear. Yes. Uh, one, two, three. It's five. It's five feet per square, isn't it? Correct. Yes. You go one, two, and the three, sword four, moves. Five, six, and it moves to four squares. One, two, three, four. So the sword will get to yeah. there. It can actually get to him to attack him if you want. And, I, and as can I. Um, so I'll, I'll duck in and sew the sword. We'll finish him off first, I think. Because I don't want him sneaking back in and backstabbing me while I'm not, not expecting it. Um, do the spiritual weapon first. Mm-hmm. Uh, do I still get advantage? No. Alright. Uh, 27. It hits. Uh, that's 5 damage. Okay. And we go with the flail. Mm -hmm. 15. Uh, misses. And... 29. Hits. Uh, I am going to boost this one to a level 2. Let me just check my controller. Let's see. It's 17. Eight is twenty-three plus five is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Uh, so he's ninety-four. Is twenty-eight. Twenty-two damage to him so far. Barely hanging on there. Uh, all right, Andrax. He's not liking this situation at all, so we're just going to disengage. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. He's just going to disengage and dash. Take a dash. It's like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, More of a chicken than an owl. 15, 20, 25. <laughs> Bok bok. And there is one more that you didn't see earlier. Ah! There it is. So. <laughs> I killed them all! I was just uh, using you to reveal where they were. I killed them all. No, you didn't. Uh, what did you stealth in here? didn't I use my bonus action to disengage ah all right cool so I'm just hiding behind a canister as best I can no worries well I'll be able to see you then but they have no range attacks so you're very lucky <laughs> uh all right cool that's all they're doing then uh Nelzor will once again whoa what have I done opened up the ah there we go <laughs> uh Nalzor will reveal himself once more uh and attack with the crossbow what 
There we go. Uh, it gets one hit. Uh, this guy here. Uh, D8 plus four. Uh, six damage this guy. Oh, he also has a sneak attack. Oh, jeez. There we go. It's more like it. Um, and then he's going to... Oh, good, there's a gap. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. He's going to dash as well. Yeah. Like, Scarthrax, <laughs> we need to get out of here. <laughs> big lizards, man. We got big lizards. Uh, Alright, cool. That's it for Nuzzle Talon. Uh, lean around the corner mm -hmm. and shoot and run away. Okay, shoot away. Uh, 13. Misses. Um, and Do you want to use your... Um, your archer's eye. Archer's thing? Yeah, let's add, a, add an archer's eye. That'll hit. Uh, 21? 22, but yes, that will hit. 22. Alright, um, and then... 1, 2, 3 plus 5. Oh, no, 21. You were right the first time. Um, so that's 20 damage. Mm -hmm. And then. 1, 2. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. You can get to here if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, is there a light source in the room that's the uh, torch, isn't it? Yes, torch there. Yeah. Um, I want to, like, hide them between. The statue in the bookshelf, so I'm not directly in the torchlight. Mm -hmm. um, and sort of fluff up my cloak a bit because it's grey, and hopefully will let me blend in a little bit. Okay, make a stealth check. Twenty-three. Okay, I think you're very well hidden. Uh, Beth is gone. She just ran, ran for her life. <laughs> Fair enough. She was on twelve. Isn't she going to get cut off by what's his name? Well, you don't know. You didn't see where she was, so you don't know where she's at. Ah. That's why. Um, mm. Scarthrax, your turn. Bok, bok. Anyway, back to the others. One, two, three, five, six. Get it there. Uh, one, three, four. 25, 30, one more over diagonal. One, two, one. three, four, five, six. Either way. Di yeah. Uh, no, diagonal from, from the one in the center of the square next to box guy. Uh, if you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Regardless, five. that's where you are. Oh, yeah, no, my apologies. I was counting yeah. where you started in. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I thought I'm just on in, in the thing there. Oh. Um, so obviously, uh, and this sword will move four. So it's not going to make a difference this turn, but it will next. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, obviously, I don't know what's that? Go for it. Uh, 18's not going to do it. Uh, no, that's the number. 18's the number. Right. Um, to a uh, one d eight or three d eight. You know what? I am going to drop a level one smite. Mm -hmm. So that's fourteen. Eighteen and. Five is twenty-three damage. Three. Mm -hmm. And obviously rinse and repeat. Okay. Um. So file eighteen. 
That hits. Uh oh, is it with bumping up his yeah, bumping up his can. Only you can answer that. <laughs> Only Team Ad can answer that question. <laughs> the answer is always, can you kill more? Yes, yes you can. Um <laughs> Uh, but that's currently not talking to you. Right, You're a weird it, person. Like, who, the fuck, who the fuck are you? <laughs> 24 more damage. 24. All right. So with that, shoom, he disappears. So it disappears or dies, but I guess the mace, the fail, eats it, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, the portal opens up, and I think it's like, oh, interesting. <laughs> uh, all right. Five, Where the hell do you keep coming from? Ten. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty to there. You know what, Scarthrax? Mm -hmm. You are probably, right now... Giving Tiamat the idea of how to reward a follower in a future life. <laughs> You're enabling your own. Like, I have a brilliant idea. Thing. If people ki if when someone kills someone with this magical weapon, it brings them to me, and I can build my army. <laughs> yep. Great, great. Another le lesson in ethics from Mister. I'm my own grandpa. Uh, question, Scarthrax. Are you at yes. full hit points? Yes, I am. Okay. But these things have blood frenzy. They get advantage on attacks if you don't have all your hit points. So they will have regular attacks for now. Uh, so first two attacks. Uh, 24 is the higher number there. Uh, I believe 23 is the magic number. Okay. Um, so brings down... Uh, Brings down the, the big fuck off thing on you. The cleaver. I right, see so you also have a large clubby thing. Stick. Stick. Where'd you get yours? Big clubby things, ink. Oddly <laughs> huh. uh, enough, that's where I got mine. Only does nine damage to you, though, but the rest of these guys are going to have advantage on their attacks, so. First one with the clubby thing. Ooh, there's the crit. Uh, so 13 plus 9, so 22. Yep. Uh, second attack from the other one. Uh, nope. And then first attack from the third one. Uh, 22, that will not get you. No. And last attack from the big guy. Uh, yeah, no, that's 25. So that will hit. Yep, that'll work. Uh, only 8 damage on the last hits. Right. Uh, the natural yeah, yeah, that was the first attack. Oh. Yeah, that one did... Uh, what was it? It was, uh, 10, 12, 20... It did 21 damage. Hmm. On the natural attack. I've just must have blanked. I didn't hear the number. Yeah, 21 it was. Uh, the owl dude is not happy with the amount of damage you did to him. He's just going to bug out for now. I'm going to sit him. I'm going to sit him in this area here. I'm out. So you don't know where he is. So I don't know where he is. Put that <laughs> there. So there he is. Now I know where he is. Okay. So. <laughs> He's in timeout. He's in the timeout box, yes. So. Uh, Null Thor is going to go, Scarthrax, we need to get out of here. Um, and he will... Pew, pew, pew. Three attacks with these crossbows. And the guy here. Uh, yes, three attacks. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with... Yes, I, I, I was only doing two attacks with him. He actually gets three attacks. Uh bugger well he gets it, oh, well technically it says he, te no technically it says he gets three attacks with his short sword but he also has a light crossbow so i've been giving him three attacks with the light crossbow as well i think he's just got three he's just got multiple crossbows that he keeps reloading <laughs> so, 
Thrum, thrum, thrum. Uh, thrum. Only, only one of them hits, unfortunately. So. Uh, My question is, who keeps reloading them for him when? Well, he, do, he does it. He, he does it uh, in between. So, I mean, you've seen um, in Metal Gear Solid, if you double tap the button uh, to put a, a weapon into your inventory, then bring it back out, it automatically reloads. That's what he does. So. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but his his blood makes thing things appear. He could just be putting it in a pocket. That's true. And That's true. It out he's just he's taking he's multiple loaded will, crossbows will. out of the um out of the ether out of out of the ether. Uh, it's the pocket universe. I just take out preloaded ones and then shooting. All right, so you gotta take some damage with the sneak attack. Um, he'll just go five, ten. He'll go over to here and just a box. Completely disappeared. He's gone totally. There he is. So. <laughs> Talon! You hear a lot of commotion coming from the other room. <laughs> and Scarthrax's unmistakable smite! Yes. Um, which means that they've probably stopped so I can come out of my hidey hole mm -hmm. and poke around the corner and shoot them. Go for it. The uh, undescribable sound, of, yeah. the unmistakable sound of smite. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Probably shouting something, praise Tiamat, punk. Um, that would be... 16. 16. That misses, unfortunately. Uh, 24. That one. Um, and 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, uh, 53 points of damage. And the question is, were you going for the closest one? Uh, yeah, because it's the one I can see. Right. Easily. Yeah. Most easily. Cuckoo. <laughs> or, pew, as I should say, because you're not using the, yep. uh, not using the bolts. Nope. Alright, cool. I've uh, got plenty of cover here, and they are currently engaged with Scarthrax. Right, so and we've gonna, kind of gonna... not been quiet. So you're just going to stay where you are, or are you going to move? Oh no, I'm going to go back and hide. That's I'll stay in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alright. Uh... What's that? 27. Invis invisible. Yeah. Uh, Scarthrax. Alright. <laughs> right, so... You know you're getting emotional support because someone just lost an arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works for me. Um, so the e e e e uh, spiritual weapon will attack the one that's nearest to it. Mm -hmm. uh, 14's not going to do it though. No, it will uh, uh, Smickety smack. The winded one in front of me. Mm -hmm. That's a crit. Ooh. There you go. That 30. And that 30. <laughs> <laughs> how yeah, dare you, you roll, saw it. How dare you uh. roll in that 30. <laughs> I don't I, I don't am. I don't approve of this. <laughs> I actually said fat 30. Oh, but nat fat 30. 30. I, think, I think I like the nat 30 better, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I am going to boost the Shazoot out of this. Go for it. Shazoot yeah. away. So it's it's getting the full. Now, how do we work this out? Because it's um, the radiant the radiant force might is sixty eight. So it's sixty eight. So it's eight sixteen twenty four. So it's forty eight. Um, which I'll tell you right now. Basically, uh, if you if you do that, boom, it just dies because that's you don't even need to roll. You put so much damage into this thing, it just kills it instantly. Right, okay, we'll do that. Yeah, okay. Cool. Right, so let me let me mark this spell off. Yeah. I've got to, I've got to keep track of the spell slots. Yeah. We're gonna uh -huh. do it. Basically, basically it the way that it works when you, when you get a crit, you whatever whatever dice you're dumping into it, you get the maximum number of those plus the roll. Yeah. Right. So, 
then attack. I'll turn to the second damaged one. Yeah, attack 2.0. So. <laughs> um, and then uh, 17 is not going to do us. It will not, unfortunately. But you do have, I think you've got your channel divinity still. You can add the plus 10. You know what? I will. Okay, so that will hit. And then I will dump because I've done a hit. I can then dump, I can do another smite. Mm -hmm. um, I will dump a level three into him. Mm -hmm. So that's thirteen, seven, forty-two, and he goes away as well. Blah. Two massive portals open up. <laughs> it's like. Oh, thank you, whoever you are. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the last guy and go, You're next. He doesn't care, he's in a blood rage. Yeah. Uh, You're being out blood raged by something that's blood you know, that's not even blood smaller. raging. <laughs> and, and smaller and, and out blood raging you. Uh, it's just no, like no, that. He misses with both. The thing is like he's literally in a frenzy. He's not even thinking. He's just going man. It's called blood frenzy. This is, uh, if, they, if they see blood, rage. they just they just go crazy for it. But he misses with everything. Um, Nullzor's happy being a box. Talon. <laughs> uh, let's come out. Pew, pew. Okay. Here's Nullzor in his natural form. The box. <laughs> uh. Come on, let's see, let's see a real nasty crit. Not that one, that's an 18. 18 hits, though. And a 24. Yeah, both of those are. Yeah, I just figured it's going to be easier to roll in D&D &D Beyond. D&D &D so Beyond, yeah. Tap up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I can one, see the results, two, they pop up on my screen three. anyway. And two, three, four, five, six, seven. Forty-five. Forty-five. He's unhappy about that. Scothrax. And then I hide again. Oh, doesn't he have it his turn? Oh, wait, no, he did, didn't he? Yeah. He goes, oh, he goes, right. no, he goes Nelzola, Talon, Scothrax, baddies. Right. Oh, uh, sword will move up. Oh, yeah. It's one of those annoying things where this, where this, when that thing kills things, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I need to enchant uh, this too. That's twenty. That hits. Or uh, six, because it only does the the um, D8 plus three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't do a great deal. Yeah, the reason <sighs> the flail does so much damage is because it's based off your strength, whereas this is belt, this flying sword is based off your. Um, spell casting, which is less. Hmm. And that's a one. Okay, that is a miss. <laughs> Take two. Twenty-eight. That hits. Um, what? Yeah, I can burn a third on this. All right. Um, level three smite. I think is... I, that'll do it. Okay. Yeah, because it's 35, so it knocks him over the 85 hit point marker. That's their hit points. So you smack the third one and zoom. It's like, oh, whoever you are, I appreciate the gifts. You hear this voice coming through the portal as, as it dissipates. Oh, um, another one. What was that? L little happy clapping. It's like, ooh, another, another one. one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that, combat is over. So the baddies are no longer there.
Nelzor. Out of my hiding hole. Yeah, the box begins to walk around the corner, and then <laughs> Nelzor goes, We should get moving. We've made too much noise already. Agreed. I smell the blood of that owl chicken thing. We should get rid of it. Shall we head up that corridor? Nelzor just turn he turns into a box again. He says, I'll go to the rear. Alright. Alright, lead the way. The torches there again. I don't think so. I got rid of all the torches. Because my lighting's just been funny now. Yeah. That's right there, yeah. Get around the corner, you'll be fine. Ah, now you're cancelling each other out. <laughs> so weird. The further up you go, the less it get, the less effective it gets. It's like, like you were using me to clear before. Yeah. And now it's not working at all. At all. Yeah. All right. But well, I'll, I'll, I'll do this actually, just to. Is that a light box? No, no. This is what. This is the eraser. This is what I was using before you guys uh. could do things. Anyway, uh, you get to the end of the tunnel here. It's actually a dead end. Well, that's boring. I will run my eyes over the walls to check for secret doors as we walk our way back out. You get to here, you find a secret door which leads you right back to where you began. Oh. Back that way then. Just if you scroll back to the other, other where we were. Yes, this is we, the, the you, did, see, you see the entrance hall, this is literally where you guys came in. Yeah. Yeah, so if you go back to where we were, when, when we had that fight, mm -hmm. right? There's um. So where, are you, where are you wanting to, to go? the to the left? Yep, that where the Do you right then go, up you towards where where my sword is. I see where to go. Know. Oh, so you want to go back into the alchemical lab? Yeah, and then to the left, and then, then around the corner. Yeah, where the guy at the bag. Where's the steam? Yeah. And there's two chests. There are two chests. What are those? Are they things? Can we have things? I like things. You don't know. You haven't looked yet. Um, but yes, but I'm not going to be still enough to stick my hand in them. Oh. I'm going to check them for traps and check if they're locked and check if they're mimics and all of the usual. Okay, so check. Nice you check nice. for traps. Uh, they are untrapped. They do not appear to be locked. In fact, they are mimics and they spring and attack you. <laughs> As I suspected. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yep. There. Yep. There I go. thought that would be. So I have the telltale drool piles around the bottom of their like boxes. Like as we get closer, there's like this gathering of liquid underneath them, and like. There we go. They spring out and attempt to attack you. Uh -huh. Um. Initiative. Initiative again, please. <laughs> Oh, the mimic's got two. So. <laughs> Take it. Ha! Oh. So, Scarthrax, you see that as. Oh, what the hell is going on here? There we go. Uh, is the sword back with us? Or, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, how long does the sword last? Uh. Sorry? No, a minute? It's for duration, one minute. Yeah, right, it's gone by now. So, it's yeah, faded. Right. Um, so I'm just gonna lay hands on the first one in an unpleasant fashion. Okay. Uh, 21. That hits. It's 18. 18 damage? Mm hmm. Again. Mm -hmm. That's crit. Okay. So that's.
Hang on. No, no, because with the flail of Tiamat's chosen or it automatically adds the plus five. Ah. Uh. So it's, yeah, so it's got, it's got eight, five plus two plus five. It's already in there. So it's 19 damage you did. Ah, uh, 19. Yep. Yeah. First is seven on this mimic. All right. Talon. I'm going to back up. Because, mm -hmm. uh... Mimics are not something you want to get close to because they have teeth. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna shoot it. Um, I'll shoot the one Scarthrax is currently mm -hmm. croaking. Go for it. Yep. Uh, 17. That will hit. And then. 1, 2, 3. And 76. Plus 5. 41. How much? Loud. 41. <laughs> That's one dead mimic. <laughs> 41 loud. Pew. Yeah. All right. And then uh, I'll just scoot over to the wall. Mm -hmm. So it will be more inclined to go for Scarthrax than me. Because he has more armor than me. Okay. Uh, mimic. I tried to miss the plan. So we'll bring the dice roller. Here, I mean, it only has one attack, so we'll attempt to pseudopod you. Nope! Off you go. Eighteen. That hits. Uh-huh. Um. Eleven is twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 19. That hits. Seven. 13. 13. That's right. Uh, 7 plus 4. 11. 11. Alright. Uh, we'll attempt to nibble you. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Nope. 19. <laughs> Sorry, Talon, I skipped over you. Go. <laughs> That's okay. I was talking to a husband. Okay. Um, I didn't realize we'd been around already. I'm it doesn't take long. It's just one one bad guy. Yeah. It's one bad guy with one attack. Not really going to last very long. I, I was about to say, and a mimic at that. Yeah. Uh, that's a twelve. Uh, that's the number that hits. Oh. <laughs> cool. Uh, is it within five feet of Scarthrax? It is. Excellent. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus five. Ooh, 52. I think 52. that's the highest, Jeez. highest I rolled in a long time. Yeah, that would have killed it even if it hadn't been damaged already. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So when two, I hit, I hit good. Yeah, you have two dead chests at your feet now. Um, oh, Feel wow. free to take all the coin you want out of them, Scarthrax. There are no coins in them, they're just dead. <laughs> Scarthrax James is handy when pulls it out. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. That's yeah, some coins. This, this is why, like, you you got to think, like, a bad guy who's holed up in his evil lair, storing shit. Like... You don't leave your treasure chest sitting out here in the open. You put them behind small doors and traps and locks and stuff. If, um, yeah, that that's just either a big trap waiting to happen with fireballs and explosions, or it's got nothing useful in it, or it's uh, alive. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sorry, resection 21. Let's check around this corner, uh, though. This damp chamber That's where the is... big lizards came from. And this damp chamber is filled with uh, dry straw sleeping pallets. Uh, it looked like it was the guard room for those creatures that you just uh, came out and attempted to kill you. You see four beds, and there were four creatures. Um, are those doors or windows? Uh, the doors. Everything in here is doors. You're inside, so it's all doors. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I'm gonna go over and quietly open the first one. Alright. Or st actually, I'm gonna stop and listen. No, you hear no noise. And then I'll open it. Thank you. Uh, this room... Uh, it's a double door. Did you want to open both or just the one? Just the one and I'll prick my head in and have a look because yeah. I don't really want to like bust in and you know mm -hmm. expose myself unnecessarily. Uh, room 20. This is looks like a private sleeping quarters. Uh, richly furnished with an ornate bed. Uh, it has a group of chests. Um, a small uh, fireplace in the far corner. This was like a uh, a room that would be uh, used for someone of great importance. Oh, it's like there was a boss guy that we haven't found yet. Great. What about this chest? Is this got money in it or is it another one of those things? I tap it with my bow. Mm. Dum -dum. Sounds like wood that that normally wakes them up if they're gonna eat you i'll have a look check it for traps check it if it's locked do mm -hmm. with the usual rogue thing yeah uh you find nothing at this point there it appears to be unlocked and untrapped it's all yours Garthrax. feel free to have all right. yeah, so you open it up uh inside uh you find a key Actually, no, this one, no, that one there. Actually, no, that's just his clothes, actually. Chest is filled with clothes and other personal effects. There's actually nothing in there. So, yeah. Uh, Scooting down, and I'll listen outside this door while Scarthrax looks around in there. No worries. Uh, if you want to search the rest of the room, you can. Scarthrax, just give us an investigation. I uh, shall toss the room, as it were. Mm hmm. Yeah, four. Four. I find a copper piece. Yeah, I'm very happy. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. You, you throw the you throw the room to pieces, and you don't find anything. No. Girl. Uh, on the other side of this door, Talon. Uh, you hear. Uh, not much actually, but. You do. You start hearing like the faint sounds of like uh, undiscernible whispers and talking in draconic, like a lot of a lot of shouting. But dis I understand dis dis dra draconic. I know, I know, but it's a lot, of, a lot of activity, a lot of overlapping conversations. It's difficult oh, to okay. make make out specifically. Um, is this the sort of door that I can open a crack and peek in? Yeah, it's just a, a standard wooden door. Um, I'd like to open it just to crack real quiet and peek in, because if uh, I can see their faces, I can uh, lip read. You can't. All right, so you see this room here, this area. Uh, oh, I think I've actually fucked up and forgot to put a wall in. I'm going to put that wall in there. there we Is go. it an actual wall, wall, not a door? There's a wall and a door there. So, that's, so the, 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 the door at the moment is going to be a wall. Um, mm -hmm. and the, or in the open space there. The open space is the door, but I'll say for now the door okay. is actually open. So just, just. Oh shush! Sh Sorry, my cat has just decided to come in and talk to me. So don't be shushing me. I'm the DM. Damn it! Fuck you. You, you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and he responds like a cat. Yeah. Uh, like a cat. Don't shush me. All right. Uh, this yeah uh, looks like a sitting room. Uh, there is. Um, uh, but it look, it's like a sitting room has been, been turned into like a private study. There's a very ornate couch, um, a, a desk with a bunch of uh, with a small jewelry box and uh, a, uh, some papers and whatnot. A couple of stools and uh, a couple of uh, cabinets off to the far end. No people. Uh, no people. No. Uh, the noise is um, quite. You hear like the sound of like. Um, 
almost like also like machinery and bubbling there's like like um things things cooking and like, and shouting just like a lot of indistinct um, screams of pain uh the few hoots of um of what sound like owls uh some yelling of bear noises just all sorts of craziness going on in the next room uh, we are going to quietly slide this door open up wide enough for both myself and Scarthrex to make through. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna like hold my finger up to Scarthrex and say, and like, shh, we're going in quietly for now. Um, clang, clang, quietly clang. <laughs> um, uh, I wanna go over and rummage the papers. What's in the papers? And I'm like, I'm gonna get down on the tables level. Sorry, start again. I'm gonna get down low at the tables level mm -hmm. and then rummage through the papers. Right. Uh, you find um, uh, most of it is like just random rantings about uh, how uh, how uh, experiments have not gone well. The um, the creation of the bear bear is not working as well as it should. But we sh I think we worked out all the kinks. Uh, the um, the ravages have been great. Su Sorry, the the lizard man renders have been great success. Who would have thought combining these two species has been so well? Uh, you also see notes on an experiment um, of uh, swapping the head of a giant white owl with the body of a human and vice versa, and how the resulting creatures actually you don't even have the same personalities. You thought that was quite interesting. Uh, there's also notes that. Uh, he needs to find more recruits because the Kraken keeps eating the uh, the recruits. Uh, the, sorry, the Kraken keeps eating the members of uh, the the, uh, the assistants he keeps sending to retrieve the crystals. Um, there is also I have a Kraken. Uh, another another uh, a small vial with the skull and crossbones on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the jewelry box uh, and uh, there is uh, th uh, four small crystals worth uh, six hundred gold total. Glad to across to Scarthrax and put two in my pocket. Mm -hmm. What am I? What am I taking? Two crystals. And then I will have a look at the jewelry box. You touch the jewelry box in your hands. I don't touch it. Okay. I look at it. Alright, you look at the jewelry box. It's a jewelry box. I'm examining it with my eyes. Yeah. I don't touch things unnecessarily. You know that. It's a jewelry box. Very carefully turn the jewelry box to face me. Okay. So when you touch it, your finger sticks to it. It's a baby, baby mimic. mimic. You get it. It just sticks to your hand. I scratch it under the chin. Just, I'm just trying to bite you, but it can't. So. <laughs> um. I will stand up and sort of hold my hand outstretched and walk out of the room and around the corner. Um, I'm gonna walk over to like up here, some a little bit further away from all the noise mm -hmm. and um, just hold it up to the, cause I'm assuming it's holding onto me. Yeah, it's, it's stuck to your hand. So it's just basically where- Why is it stuck to me? Because it has the, uh, Little pseudopod thing. Yeah, little pseudopod thing. Basically, if you if you touch a mimic with with your bare hand, you actually adhere to it. It, it automatically grapples you. So I'm Which, gonna hold it over the fire. Okay. Of the torch. It gets <laughs> and just dies. <laughs> it just turns into <laughs> turns into goop. <laughs> well, it, had, well. it has it has one hit point. So. Well, here I was thinking I was, you know, gonna fight a midi mimic and I would have to, like... Oh, I was like, just let go of me and you can go free and go grow up and eat someone else. But no. It's a little, anyway. little, little baby mimic, you just murdered it. Killing the innocent. This, this for you is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
Never mind. Um, I put it with the big mimics. Okay. At least they're all together again. <laughs> What's left of them? Um, and then I guess I'm gonna have a look at these drawers real quick mm -hmm. since nothing has bothered us. Uh, this is just more, more, more notes. Uh, most of it just incoherent ramblings about different experiments. Uh, some complaints about um. Uh, the uh, the people in the Tomb of Horrors that that damned architect keeps sending people to to harass us. One day I'm gonna feed him to the Kraken. Um, that, yeah. Oh, and also the um, the uh, instructions on uh, his homunculus. He's actually built a, a tiny homunculus in the form of um, Moloch. So it basically explains how to build. Uh, a homunculus. That that sounds interesting. Uh, um. Yeah. And then I'll inch my way up to this door. Okay. And see if I can't hear what's going in a little in there a little bit better. Uh, mostly it's just uh, Rand saying, "All right, come on, let's get yeah, in in Draconic." Is like, like, "All right, now come on, just make sure." It's, it's, okay, now stand back, stand back. All right, activating now, and then you hear like, "Shh," and it's like, "Oh," just lots of like, screaming and and pain. It's like, "Ah, yes, it's working finally." Uh, that doesn't sound like the uh, experiment outcome we want, Scarthrax. Uh, no. Let's the door open a little bit. Have a I'll reveal what you can see. Alright, so you can see. Oh, hang on. There's a little dude in the corner there. There he is. Ah! Stand up. You right. boys turning me upside down. Yeah, I know. Uh, so this room is. Uh, it's the laboratory area. Okay. A massive L-shaped laboratory filled with creatures strapped down to tables or chained to the walls, all attended by lizard folk workers. In the north wing of the lab, which is where you are, uh, two platforms hold terrified-looking fish folk of some kind, connected by silver wires to other platforms holding stoic-looking lizard folk. More silver wires connect the tables to a complex control panel standing between them, and you're getting a ping. Um, and this looks like a experiment underway to create more of those creatures that you're looking for. And they've attached these strange looking fish people. Um, if you want to try and identify them, you can. I would like to do that. Do so. In the moment, right before I shoot the bottom of the console. Okay. Um, you want a nature check? Uh, nature or, um, yeah, nature. That'd be the only way. Thirty. Thirty. All right. You recognize these as Lukathol. All right. They're um, little little humanoid fish people. They're primarily neutral. Uh, they're resilient and proud fish folk uh, that have uh, endured war, slavery, and mistreatment at the hand of other aquatic creatures. Uh, they tend to dwell in submerged tribal communities along sea coasts and hunt both above and below water. Quaggins. <laughs> Guild Wars 2, they're just little coggins. No, I have not played Guild Wars, I couldn't tell you. Alright, um, no, I want to... Where did I lose? Separate... Oh, there he is. You put him in a box? Yeah, I put him in his you box and stuck him in the corner. There he comes. Yeah. Nobody puts me in a box. Ever. I put me in a box, but that's uh, different. I want to take out the power to the console. Okay. With a well aim shot. Alright, you're going to use laser or going to use uh, bolt? We're going to use quiet. So you use Prepare yourself, Scarthrax. Right. Uh, do, do. Ugh. <laughs> Let's see, I had an. Oh, I don't even know if an archer's eye is going to fix that. Uh, oh, that's 15. No, sorry. 13. Yes, let's add my last archer's eye. We want this to work. 
Oh, really? That was going to be an eight? Well, that takes it to 15 now. 15. To All hit. right, cool. Oh, cool. So uh, the hits do your damage. All the power of me. Yeah. Okay. So I'm guessing it is hitting the console five. in the middle, yeah? Yep. Um, and then 76. Uh, 34 damage. All right, so you fire the shot. The bolt fire, um, just goes silently through the air and smacks into the console. The console explodes, um, unleashing these creatures from the, the devices. So they collapse onto their knees, and these little guys go, and run away. <laughs> yeah. You start hearing... Um. You start hearing screaming coming from the uh, the lizard folks. Like, what the hell just happened? I shut the door. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've got no idea. I want to do a thing. Oh, in my head, I've just got Scarthrax. He walks in. Let's let's the 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 um the flail just slide through his hands like a baseball bat and hit the ground. Kadunk! It would behoove you to run. <laughs> so is that what you're doing? Yes. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to use Intimidate. Yeah, say, I'm gonna... say, yeah, make an Intimidation check, absolutely. Or is it Persuasion? No, Intimidate. Persuasion. Intimidation. You are definitely trying to be scary. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, all, oh. all, the sh all, all these guys sit around and look at you and just go, uh, I don't think so. Get there. <laughs> and these two guys step down <laughs> and start coming towards you. <laughs> Initiative again, everybody. That's all right. I got, I got it. I got it. I got a thing for this too. When oh. I'm done, I'm gonna turn around and go. I warned you. I was really hoping that I was shooting the console and interrupting the transfusion. Nineteen. They're not. They're not complete, so they're a lot weaker than the ones you fought before. Okay, good. So yeah. Good. Some success. Uh, Scarthrax, nineteen. Do you have any more grenades? I'm pretty sure I'm out. Um. Yeah, well, I think we might do actually. I think I gave you mine, and then we have whatever Flicker had. Well, I know he had some. Yeah. Now if we're going to use grenades. We want the explodey ones. The poison gas grenade, and there's one frag. The poison would be good. Well, yeah, you've already used the poison gas, so there's one grenade left. No, I right? had a poison grenade. I had a poison gas myself. Oh, okay, so there's another poison gas grenade in there. Yeah. Okay. Let me just pop a frag in there. Place a frag through the door. Um, I will do that on my turn then. Well, it's your turn. You're first. It's your turn. Oh, right. Um... I'm going to summon the frag grenade from the bag of holding. Mm -hmm. I'm going to initiate the countdown sequence for no time and throw it as far as I can towards the um, three shamans at the back. So I'm going to land, land, land right in the middle. Um, and then I'm going to hide. <laughs> All right. So you go, whoop, ding, 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 ding. Like, what the fuck is... Ah! Um... Well, they won't go uh, until it goes off. Cause yeah, exactly. Because it goes off immediately as soon as it lands. Yeah, I set the countdown to zero. To zero. All right, grenades. Here we go. Frag grenade. Uh, dexterity saving throw for basically everyone in this area here. How many dice do I get to roll? Uh, it'll be five d six. Hang on. I'm rolling the save first, damn it. I don't want to roll dice. Alright. Uh, <laughs> I got your roll. <laughs> cool. So, 20 and 15 both pass. Oh, I want the damage of 65. And the two renders. Uh, one pass. Okay, so one render and one shaman fail. Uh, so, uh, 6, and it was 6, 12, 16, 23 damage. So, this guy takes 20, 
three. This guy takes 23. And everyone else takes uh, 11. Oh, yeah, 11. All right, goo, and these these alchemical shelves blow up as well. There's just acid and shit all over the ground now. Uh, that threats. wasn't quiet. No, very not quiet. That was as loud as you could possibly. Be. Um, one giggled. Yeah, this one here. It is, yeah, uh, it's the one I'm. I'm going to summon um, the sword in the diagonal gap in the middle between the two of us, directly next yeah, to yeah. me. Alright, we're both going to take that guy first. Mm-hmm. Sword. Uh, 11. Uh, misses. Uh, 16. That hits. Alright. Burn a third. 20. 6 plus 5 is. It's that. doesn't have the plus 5 on it. Um. 31. 31 points of damage. Right, you take the shaman down in a single strike. <laughs> he appears. Mm -hmm. The portal opens. He appears in the lair of Tiamat once more. Um, have I got enough to hit the next guy, or uh, was it you were here? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, right there. All right, and uh, me. Twenty-one. That hits. Burn a second level. Mm -hmm. Two. Right. Twenty-four. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. All right. Uh, so what does he got? Yeah, actually, that kills him too. He's taking damage from the grenade. Doom! He goes down as well. This one's unfinished. What the hell? <laughs> I did warn you to run. All right. Uh, this guy here. He's gonna step up to you. Uh, you are injured still, so mm -hmm. advantage on the first attack. He's just gonna use his claws. He doesn't have his big sword yet. Nope. And he's gonna bite you as well. Uh, nope, misses with both. All right. Uh, the shamans, they all turn, and you notice that actually that these shamans all look identical, even though they are all lizard men. These guys are actually all identical clones of each other. And they all they all look at you and simultaneously say, that's very nice armor. Let's warm it up. And all of them are going to cast heat metal on you. <laughs> oh... So, uh. heat metal, here we go. Your armor begins to glow incredibly hot. Uh, you take... Don't, isn't there a save? Just hang on. No, you take the damage regardless. So you're going to take uh, 6d8 fire damage from the three... So you take 29 halves, so you take 14 fire damage. Um, uh -huh. And three checks to get out, to jump out of your armor. What check? Uh, constitution. I mean, you can choose to jump out on your own if you want to, but if you choose to stay in it. 19. That's a pass. 18. Pass. 17. Pass. Oh, you're good. So staying in your burning one armor. 
Uh, coming from around this corner. Four more dudes, and they bring forth some Allosauruses on your ass. Can you see them, Talon? Mm -hmm. I know you can. Yeah, I can see them. You can see them? Okay, cool. They've got red yeah. they got black circles around them, so that usually means they're not revealed. I can see two dinosaurs. Yep, two dinosaurs. That's cool. That's what you want. Um So they're gonna send the two dinos at you, Scarthrax. So one appears here. The other appears here. Get in there. <laughs> Damn. I was gonna delete this door. Because we know that door's yeah. <laughs> we know that wall's actually there. There we go. But then I don't feel like I'm hiding anymore. Oh you are. It's okay. Okay. You can hide behind Nelzor. There you go. <laughs> hide behind the box. It's pretending to be a box. Yes. It's just the box. Alright. Uh, so we've got two Allosauruses. It's got to be some point at which, you know, even confident bad guys have got to be like, you know what, I choose life. Yeah, only if they think that they've got a chance to lose. Um, you're, in, you're in their house. Yeah, and I'm wading through them. It's kind of like... Alright, so two... Don't Al run! Two Allosaurus attacks. From one from each. Plus sixes on these. Uh, neither of those hit. And then this one here mm -hmm. is going to All right, so this area here. Mm-hmm. Uh... that didn't work. Should just gonna scribble it in. And we'll make it brew. This is the poo zone. No. It's going to blend mm. in. I'll make it green. That makes more sense. All right. So this area here. Is now covered in spikes. Basically giant roots and thorns stick out of the ground. It appears to look very dangerous. And the other guys go, what are you doing? Is saying, just protect it. Just hold them off. We'll, bake, we'll bring you back. Uh, and that is going to be it. Oh. For them, the shaman. may have bits and off a bit more than we can choose, Garthrax. Uh, I'll roll initiative for Null because I didn't do that yet. So are they affected by the spiky things? Uh, you don't know. I can see. Yeah, they haven't had a turn yet, so you don't know. Uh. All right, Talon. Uh, I'm gonna like put my head around the corner. Oh. Shoot a shaman. Weep. Um, I'm gonna throw a big, put my hand in and find the poison grenade and throw it as far as I can down towards um, the like I want to land it there mm -hmm. um, if I can or as close to there as possible All and right. have it go off straight away okay so... Oh, it's balancing on one of the shots. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So that's that was the center point. One, two, three, four. Slightly too big. Hang on. Because it's one, two, three. 
It's four in every direction, yeah? It's a 20... 20 radius, but it's a square. Yeah, so it's four, so it's four squares in each direction. Yeah. So eight squares yeah. across. So one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, beautiful. All right. Cool. So. Um, yeah. And then... So that's a... What's the check on that? I don't have the numbers. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, poison gas. Uh, constitution saving through. All right, so... First shaman. Failed. Second shaman. Failed. Fails. This guy passes. So I'm going to flip him over. This guy fails. This guy passes. And the last guy fails. And then the I oh, know the big dude's not in it, he's just out of it. Mm -hmm. Renders out. But we'll say the, the Lothakal dies because he was in there as well. Alright, cool. Uh he's so, gone away. Yes. So twelve D six poison damage, please. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright. So, dead. Dead, dead. Oh, it's raining. Hmm. 17, 11. Uh, dead, dead. Alright, cool. Good work. Um, yeah, I'm not burning it. Nice air. Breathe it. Alright. Uh, that mean the concentration on the heat metal is gone? Uh, yes, the heat metal is gone. So the armor cools off. The spikes, however, are still up because... Because they're not a concentration, they're just a terrain change. No, it is a concentration, but... Uh, nope, he failed that as well. Uh, sorry, Tim, I just pushed undo on everything you just did. <laughs> yeah, yeah erase everything now. Yeah. <sighs> Fine, whatever. All right, cool. I was beginning to get worried. Oh, continue to be worried. Uh, Scarfrax. Uh, first things first. Oh, and one of the... Oh, no. Is the summon animals a... Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 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 So, continue. Ah, yes. All right. Uh, I shall hit the guy in front of me. Mm -hmm. the, um... Uh, 20. Uh, yeah, that hits. That's five. It's a nap 30. Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I just want to use a level one on this. No, it's dead. I just took it away. Oh. Oh, okay. Because I won't, do, I won't burn a spell on it. It had 40 um, hit points. Your minimum damage of 20 from the... Sorry. Uh, sorry. It was 18... Your minimum damage of 26 from the flail with the crit takes it out. Yeah. So I've got one more attack, yeah? Yeah. Um, I might as well hit the dino behind me then. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 27. Yep. I can't remember, were these big or not? Yes. 
that. Yeah, I might burn that one now then. Um, one, two, six, 11, 16, 21. 21. Q. Uh, all right. Baddie's turn now. There's a, quite a few things actually to come out at the moment. Because making a shitload of noise. Isn't Nelson going to step around the corner and shoot someone? Yeah, next. Baddie's yeah. turn now. Oh. oh, that's right. Sorry, Baddie's Nelson or Shaman. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, just my bad. Just wait your fucking turn. Thank you very much. I got shit to do. So. Well, sure enough. It takes forever. All right. <laughs> uh, coming down this corridor. She's got to find this character now. This guy comes bolting down, well, walking down the corridor, so, hang on, where was he? That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, his dog is just going to bolt straight down the corridor. So coming down the corridor, you hear uh, barks Scarthrax, which you recognize as that of a demon dog known as a hellhound. Um, this thing is going to keep on nibbling at you. Um, and a couple of bolts are going to fire down the corridor towards you. Crossbow bolts. Ooh! That is a 25 to hit. Uh, look. Alright. So you take 1d8 plus 3. Three damage, so eleven damage. Uh, and can you please make me a Constitution saving throw, please? Nineteen. You're good. Uh, but. As the bolt hits you, uh, and also can have a strength saving throw, please, as well. 16. I think you're good with that one. Uh, where does it say his thing? This is one powerful crossbow bolt. Okay, well, it has poison on it, plus he added a spell onto it as well. That's why. He's a ranger. You can work that out. Uh, yeah, we'll say that's a success because it doesn't actually have a thing, but I don't think it's that high. So basically, the bolt hits you. Poison attempts to uh, uh, enter your system. It fails. And also, when the bolt impacts your body, a bunch of uh, vines spring out of it and attempt to ensnare you, but you just rip them free. They do not hold you down. Uh, the Allosaurus will nibble upon you. Uh, it will fail to do so. And then coming out of the office, you hear the voice of a very crotchety old man say, What the fuck is going on out of here? He come into my house, trying to say, Pissing up my lab, what the hell? Damn it! <laughs> wizard times two, time to shoot a wizard. Alright, and he... Yes, he goes, More of Mogadim's mercenaries, I presume? Uh, I still haven't disposed of the last poor so-called master of the tomb sent here. And he will cast a spell. Yep, he's going to cloud kill again. So basically, a second set of gas appears where you guys are. So essentially the area where this area here where the poison gas grenade is, is now going to be a... An equivalent area like that. <laughs> Let's draw on the walls. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. I 
was gonna say, can you put another cloud down, but then just change the color? I tried that. It doesn't actually work, unfortunately. That's the. That would have worked. No, no, no. Hang on. So let's do it like this. It's gonna be all the way around. Is it a circle? It is a circle. Yeah. So. Right. That's fine. So that's gonna be the area that it will affect. Uh, I need um, because it goes around corners as well. I'm gonna need you. Yeah, I was hoping it wouldn't. Uh, so Talon and Scarthrex, Constitution saving throw, please. And um, Box Two. Twenty-four. Oh, and Nelson. Am I close enough to Scarthrax to get his bonus? No. Mine's 12. 12. That is a fail. So you take uh, 5d8 poison damage. Uh, so you take 23. Scarthrax, you take um, 11, and so does Nulzor. What's the, dra the, what's it saying? Dinosaur take. What? Dinosaur. Di oh, uh, uh, the dinosaur takes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and the little guy. Nah, yeah, the little, little guy's fucked. Yeah, he takes 23. Alright, cool. Oh, yeah, 44. Sorry. Alright, Nelzor takes. Uh, 11. Um, so that's his bit there, because he has that up. Uh, then he's just going to duck out of sight, so you guys can't see him. But in the smoke, um, you see the outline of an invisible dog where your hand is. Talon. There you go. Uh, Nelzor's turn. He's going to back up out of the smoke, but it starts his turn there, so he's going to have to take it again. Uh, yep, he's good, but he's still going to take half this. Take nine damage, and then he's just going to crossbow the lizard. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, you, with his sneak attack, just the numbers, the number of dice will kill it. So, <laughs> <laughs> rolls one on everything. Yeah, even if he rolls one on everything, he will kill that lizard. And this little Lithical is dead. Um, all right, the shamans, because they know they know this stuff is poison, they don't need to breathe. They will stop breathing. What? Hey, they can hold their breath for fifteen minutes. It's a specific rule for the, for the lizard folk, and they will step out of it. So deal with it, bitch. <laughs> they did that last time. They too. did it last time as well. Exactly. You you only get like the initial. Um surprise of the grenade landing and the gas spreading to poison them yeah. and deal damage after that they hold their um, breath. And these two these two will cast the heat metal again on you, Scarthrax. Mm -hmm. What's the range on that? Uh, mm. 60 feet. Yep. And you can see you can see through the clouds of yep. poison. Yep, yep, cool. Of course you can. Yeah. It obscures. It doesn't completely block line of sight. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, heat metal, so take 4d8 halved. Uh, so you take 9 fire damage total. Uh, and 2 constitution saving throws, please. Come on. 17. Mm-hmm. And 12. 12, I think. Uh, no, 12 is the number. You're good. So you pass both. All right. Uh, that's it for them. Talon, you start your turn in the gas. The 
without kill. 51. Oh, hang on, I rolled too many dice here. We'll take, this, we'll take the six off. So, 11 uh, damage, so five damage for the cloud kill. Um... Are there noises coming from the corridor to the left of me? To the left of you. Yes, there are. So, there's the sound right. of an there's barking of an angry dog, and you also saw two bolts come flying and hit Scarthrax, and one of them explode in vines. Oh, from the left hand side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This uh, is, this I is thought that was from side. down the wizard's end. No, okay. no, 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 no. There's someone coming down this in corridor. In that case, I'm not going that way. Oh. I think we should fall back and draw him in. Yeah. Um, stepping out of the cloud. Um, and I'm going to hold a loud bang for um, the next thing that comes out of that doorway in that line. Yeah, basically that. Yeah, basically someone who steps into that yeah. square. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Bang. Uh, or, like, anything that steps into my field of view. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Scarthrax. Uh, yeah, we'll see the poison first. Because I'm in the cloud, yeah? Mm hmm So, con save? Uh, yes, con save. 16. Uh, that, I believe, is also a success. Uh, yep, that's just what you needed. So you take half of that, so you take 13 poison damage. Alright, uh, I'm getting out of this, heading back towards, so, 5, 10, yeah, hang on, we're, there, yeah, five, so 5, 10, 15, 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, you can get to there, yep, I'm gonna block my field of view, 30, <laughs> alright, and the sword is going to go, Back, so it's going to sit in the uh, door front doorway. Mm -hmm. So whatever is coming has to go past it and yeah. It doesn't matter because you it, you block line of sight, but you ignore cover, so it doesn't and it doesn't. It's not big enough to completely block the square, so you find. Well, I them. think they're ethereal or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Weird, see through, but yeah. physical manifestation. So. And my action to There you go. Mm. Mm. Only it should be red because Tiamat. But you know. That's me being pedantic, don't worry about it. Do I need to cast cure wounds on myself? Mm-hmm. You should just stab yourself with a thingy. Uh do I have? Healing. Oh yeah, probably. Good. No, I'll do that. Yeah, but I've that. Save your spell slots. Yeah, uh, you, you've got that one that you had. It only has like one one charge remaining anyway, so you might as well utilize it. Yeah. Right, so it's two T twelve, isn't it? Yeah, two D twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, twenty two. Prepare to cast gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, you hear? Uh, who speaks in infernal? Oh, I do. All right. So you no, hear? No, I speak abyssal. Sorry, abyssal. Oh, okay. Infernal. So you, you do you speak infernal? Tell right. no. no. All right. So you hear? And you hear? You hear no noise. You hear like the sounds are going to go Ugh. because he's not made it, letting his companion step into a big fuck off death cloud. This is fair. 10, 15, 20, Can I see it? 
30. Uh... Barely, but yes. Really? Yeah. I was gonna say if if he was to the left square, I'd say definitely. Yeah. Um, I, I got I got to think. Pick pick a number. Odds or evens. Evens. Odds. Okay. You cannot see. Yeah. All right. Uh, so my health shot is still held. Um. You hear the old guy shouting. I was like, Does any of you guys know Gust or something? Get rid of this damn smoke cloud! <laughs> <laughs> we don't know Gust. <laughs> yeah. Someone get the big fan out of storage. Yeah, get the big fan. You guys, stop blowing! So <laughs> get your fans out. Uh, oh, actually, hang on. I think. Uh -huh. Wrong sort of fan! All right, the druids are going to use druid craft to create puffs of wind. <laughs> start, start attempting to blow the... We <laughs> like one square... Uh, yeah, five yeah, yeah. Well, hang on. So it's like, or something. The uh, so poison gas. The creature ending his turn with a gas grenade. Da, 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 da. Is for one minute and is a, in a stagnant area. In a ventilated area, it will be gone in five rounds. This is a ventilated area because it is a laboratory. It needs to be ventilated. So you can see the vents in the floor here. Uh, so how many rounds have we gone through now? Like two? Oh my God. Yeah, all right. So this will be round three. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Well, they actually won't do anything for the time being, uh, but they'll move off to the side as well. So this is round three, because round one, I threw the frag grenade. Round two, I threw the poison grenade. Round three, I stepped out of the cloud kill. Right, okay, cool. So yeah, they've been up, it's been up for two. It's, it's, the poison grenade's been up for two. Yeah, two, yeah, round cool. Three. That's good. Yeah, uh, so... Uh, I'm just going to do a thing here. Do a thing. Two. Just as a reminder. Um, but, because... You, Scarthrax. Um, do you spell engine components? Yeah, you don't actually need to. Yeah, because you're, they're still concentrating on the heat metal, it still affects you because they actually don't need to see you. They just need to concentrate on it, and you're still within range. Okay. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Alright, uh, yeah. Uh, what's, nine what's damage? What's the range? Through a wall? Doesn't matter. It's just, it's just straight line, 60 feet. Okay. Yeah. How much damage? Uh, nine already halved. It was 18 nor because you're resistant to fire. It's nine and two checks to jump out the armor, please. 14. Passes. 25. Awesome. Alright, cool. Uh, Nalzor is just waiting at the stage as well. Waiting on you guys. I think that, that square is going to get unloaded on. <laughs> uh, Alright, so the shamans. Uh, cool, so that's the end of round two. Three. Beginning of round three. For the smoke. Yeah. Uh, Talon. Um. Can't really see anything to shoot. Can't really do anything about that cloud. It can blow in its general direction. But otherwise, not much. Um. I'll start looping around and meet them from go at them from behind. No, it'll take too long. 
Um, I'm going to hold a shoot again, um, okay. but I'm just going to step through that doorway, um, still maintaining that line mm -hmm. backwards. Oh, backwards, right. So gonna go. Yeah. Going to maintain that line and just um, go back. Okay. Maintain that line so I can still shoot. Give myself the best view mm -hmm. I can get. No. Uh, yeah, and hold bank. Okay. Scarthrax. How far do I actually have to go to stop burning me? You don't know. 60 feet. So. Uh, down the hall first things first the sword's going to go over and smack the dog and then I'm going to run back you don't know like, that the dog's there can't actually see it you maintain that it stopped short of being able to be seen around the corner so you don't know yeah. that it's there and remember there's a wall here yes uh, right. I will undo the. I will de turn the sword off. And. I'm gonna head back the way we came. Right. Just flat out. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Oh, are we retreating? Well, my armor is burning me, and apparently it's going to continue to burn me, and I don't want to be anywhere near things that's burning me, so. Okay. What's your passive perception, Scarface? Perception. Uh, 16. Who's that? Uh, it's ten. Actually. Uh, ten. Ten. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, bad guy's turn. Uh, emerging from the fog, Scarthrax. It's a friend of yours. Whoo! <laughs> Am I? Am I the chicken? And he has more hit points back now. He went off to heal himself, and he springs out and attacks you. Oh. Oops, wrong thing. I need a second dice roller for the different locations now. Yes, he, was, he was stealthing his way around to, to ambush you guys if you stayed in that corridor there, but you came to him, so... Uh... Two attacks with advantage. First attack. I would have seen. Uh, yes. Uh, 19 for the first one. No dice. Second attack. Nope. Misses with both. Uh, Alright, cool. And that's it for that. Uh, and then he will bonus action disengage Bock and run away 10, 15, 20 alright cool um, the other bad is this guy is going to you got to here you hear more infernal chatter uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Yep, you're still in range. Uh, another nine points of damage and two checks, please. Mm hmm. Twenty-three and twenty-four. All right, cool. Uh, and 
Tesla. Talon, you hear a voice in your head. They say, like, well, he's going to run now. If you can tell Mogadim, he's a scummy bastard. He's not getting what he wants. The gems are mine, goddammit. Hi. Uh, you can reply if you wish. You just use, send you just use sending on you. Yep. Oh, message. Sorry, not sending. Yep. Yeah, it's your turn. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of a message because I was not expecting that to happen. Okay, sure. Um, because I didn't realize he'd seen me. Um. Or. You could give us the gems, and then we wouldn't have to kill you like we did everybody else in your dungeon so far. That's all we got so far. Yep. Your turn. Uh, my turn. I am going to follow Scarthrax, because mm -hmm. it's unlike him to run away. Is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 10, 7? 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You can get to here. Awesome. Can I see the dude? You can see the dude. You see a, an owl in in the fog. Uh, bang. Do I surprise him? No. No. I have to ask. Yes. He's an owl. He's a chicken. 25. 25 hits. Uh, 19 points of damage. 19. Right. 69! <laughs> um, and then... What's wrong? What's in? What's that? Uh, I pushed the wrong button and rotated my field of view away from where I wanted to see. Ah. Which wasn't helpful. Um, and then I guess... Bonus action dash. Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. One, two. So it was here, wasn't it? Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there. Seven, eight. Oh, I see what you were doing. He's not getting past me. <laughs> <laughs> He's tried this game before. Yeah. All right, Scarthrax. Uh, diagonally, I'm going to move two. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move forward and attack the owl boy. Okay. Oh, wait. Am I in range of burning? Mm -hmm. oh, no, that's in there. That's, that's in, in their, their turn. turn, yeah. All right. Smickety spot. 16. Uh, that is, the, is a number. Yes, that hits. Yes. Two. No, I should only have one. Yep. All right, I'm going to use my level three. That's mm -hmm. really smart. That's thirty-five. Thirty-five. Nice. <laughs> then I'm gonna hit him again. Twenty-five should hit. Mm -hmm. Use a second level switch. 
32. Good two. Disengage. Three. Four to you. He's going to stab you twice on the way past. Tell him. Mm hmm. Uh, 20 to hit. That hits. Alright. Sorry, 19. But yeah. That also uh, hits. Alright, so. Uh, D6 plus 3. Give me with a short sword. 7 damage and a constitution saving throw, please. Eighteen. All good. Um, if he is continuing to move away from me, I would want to step him back. He's disengaged, you can't. I... Completely didn't hear disengage at yes. all. That's why he moved away. He's not going to let Scarthrax hit him. Fuck that. I'm going to give him a choice. Oh, yeah. Is he standing there still? Uh, yeah. He can only move one more square, so he's only he's only one as far back as he can. Right. Um. Is he within five feet of me? Yeah. Well, he's ten feet away now. Okay. Alright. Uh, so you don't know what they're doing there. You don't know what that one's doing there. You don't know what these guys are doing. So, yep, all you know is the one dude. Yep. Uh, start of round five, so the gas will be gone at the end of this turn. They just have... Better guess now to get through. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, tell him. Since you're kindly out of melee range, you can have the full brunt of my bow. Mm. Uh, uh, no, that's not the button I want. Remember 10. Uh, 14 is probably not going to hit him, is no, it? No, that is not going to hit him, unfortunately. Um, and I do not have any more archer's eyes. So, uh, one, two, disengage, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to train my bow on him. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to say to him very clearly, you can run, but you can't hide. He turns his goes, hoo hoo! <laughs> uh, and yeah, that, that'll be my turn. All right, Scarthrax. The sound of a rushing space marine. <laughs> <laughs> Is our broke? gonna come help us or is he just gonna sit in his box no he's in his box he's guarding the rear yeah he's, um, he's preventing people from getting it uh, to us from the back all right uh, twenty that hits Or 21. Alright, so with that hit, Portal Ups, that he goes, <laughs> and he actually just falls backwards into it, and just smiles at you as he goes. <laughs> He's, not going to be much, He's not going to be having much fun when he gets to where he's going. Literally, as he goes, he just gives you two. He just gives you two middle fingers. You just see the blood coming out of his body. He's like, Hoo -hoo -hoo! and away he goes back down. All right. 
Uh, all right. Bad guys. Uh, there is movement, but you do not know where the movement is. Nelzor. Uh, five, ten. Right, so it sees a dog coming through the room. He's still maintaining his box position. Sad. It smells very human-y. Yes. Uh, so attempt the dog is going to attempt to see if he can attack the dog there. Um, don't know that it can, actually. Oh, plus five. Yeah, fuck, it found him. So it's just... Uh, it does like, oh, shit. So... <laughs> you to shot it. So this turn... Ha! Pew, pew, pew. Switch of leave. Still box. Crossbows come out. Uh, oh, shit, he hits it all three times. Hits it when he needs to. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Jeez. Uh, yeah, nearly killed the poor thing. Good lord. So <laughs> the poor thing. It's a demon dog. Yeah. Very innocent little cute demon dog. Leave it alone. That was going to bite him. Oh, it still might. Uh, I think he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50, 55, 60. The dog's on to me. We've got to move. <laughs> Did you make it sound like a giant dying giraffe? Uh, it's Nalzor, the shamans. Don't know what they're up to. All right. Talon. I'm going to ask them, are we staying here? Are we running away? Are we circling around? What's the plan? I'm going to go take care of that dog. So I'm going to move my eight squares from there to here. Mm -hmm. Can I see the dog? Uh, yeah. We'll be able to see from there. Oh, uh, actually, no. Let's do the... Oh. Need to be one, you'll need to move one more square to do it. I wanted to bonus action to hide. And if I bonus action dash, then I can't bonus action hide. <sighs> I'm gonna bonus action hide and hold my attack for the next thing to come through the doorway. Yeah. Go for it. I'm gonna hold a silent attack. Stealthers. Minimum of 23. It is a 33. Cool. That oh. is as high as I can go. Alright. Uh. Stealth rocks. Well, bestest thing to get your natural 20 on. Okay. Um. Feeling very healthy at the moment. Go through mm -hmm. the pack and pull out another stabby thing and heal yourself. I think I might actually. One else. Two D twelve. This is for you, my hope. Uh, two D twelve. Big spot. I'm hiding in the clouds. Go away. Twenty two. That's my action, is it? Mm hmm. You still got the rest of your movement if you want. And a move up too. That way, if anything, anything comes anywhere near, 
talent that has to literally go through me first. Okay. Good distraction. I appreciate that. Uh. All right. You hear more. More infernal sounds. You hear the dog stop moving. Every time. That's going to be it for the baddies' turn. Talent. So you peer around the corner, you see the ranger with the dog. You also see the shaman's and they are pulling what appears to be a two-headed owlbear. I can see the shamans? Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you can see, like, a shaman from where you're positioning. And That's right. Yeah. I've got to shoot a shaman. Go for it. With advantage. Again. Twenty six. That hits. Let's do a bang. And one. Plus five. Uh, thirty nine. Okay, so a beam comes shooting through. Uh, one shaman down, one to go, and I'm a step back. And wait. bonus section, hide. Okay. For twenty-three. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Scarthrax. Um, they can't see me yet, can they? Um, no. Can't see them. Yes, can't That's see how them. that works, right? Yes, you can see. <laughs> you can see the two-headed owl bear. Desperately going to need some HP. I'm going to use another thing. I'm going to be me shielding it again. I need more HP. Gonna charge straight in. They tried to sp they splice two owl bears together and made a bear. So <laughs> and five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. To here. Uh, the hellhound is going to breathe fire on you. Uh, both you dexterity saving throw, please. Was that tell? The strengths. I thought I tapped on the decks, but apparently no, I tapped on strengths. Ah. No, I rolled a seven. Because oh. great, more flames. Oh. 
concerned overly with those. Alright, so... Uh, you take nine points of fire damage, Scarthrax, because you take half damage. Talon, if you want to use evasion, you can save for none. Thank you. Um, I don't want to give away my spot because I'm currently hiding mm -hmm. in the smoke. Steve. Uh, Barbados. Okay, it's interesting. But that's all right. Um, for now. Oh, I would have had that on anyway. Never mind. All right, cool. So, you... Uh, he's going to attack you with his crossbow then. So, two attacks. Sorry, uh, advantage attack on you, Scarthrax. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a flat 20. That misses. Second attack. Uh, 16 also misses. That's fine for him. Um, but... Nope, neither of those do anything, so that's fine. Oh, I keep forgetting he has other things. Cool. Oh, that's why. All right, I was just going to work out why he has this special ability, but now, now I know why. That's cool. All right, awesome. Um, that's it for him. The Sharma is going to stick around the corner there. Uh, and you can't see anything else. The bear bear did a dash, so, yep, that's it. Um, Nelzor sticks around the corner, he will attack the bear bear. the bear bear he hits twice uh doing uh d8 plus four so seven plus three d6 because sneak attack uh, sorry 46 because scarthrax is within range of it so, 21, uh, plus four, 25 damage to the bear bear. All right. Um, that's Nullzor. I said the shaman. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wrap the shamans in with the the baddies because it doesn't really account for much in this initiative anyway. Uh, Talon, back to you. I guess I'm gonna shoot the bear bear because that thing looks like it could put out some seriously serious hurt. <laughs> um, has it seen me? Uh, no, it's not looking for me. Cool. So 23 or 25. Both hits. These 
43. How much? 43. 43. Well, that's one dead bear bear. So. <laughs> Good. Bang. And then gonna go over here and try and look like Spoke as best mm -hmm. I can. Very good. Be hard to see. Scarthrax. Three. <laughs> um, dog thing's right in front of me, isn't it? It is. I recognize it as a hellhound. Uh, it's a hellhound. It's a hurting hellhound too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um... I will summon the sword. Summon the sword! The sword will attack the dog first. Twenty. That hits. Or five. Okay. Still up. Then I will need to hit it. No. Right. Ah, fourteen. Uh, no. Yeah, I was surprised. Lots of very low rolls. Yeah. There's nothing to do about that. Is what it is. Yes. All right. Um, Barbados is going to step. Up. He's going to do a weird thing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, I need a dexterity saving throw from you, please. Me? Yes. Ah, 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 uh, seven, because I rock. All right. Barbados takes mm -hmm. his cloak, and he, f he actually spins it round, and it hits your armor, and your armor begins to corrode. Your armor takes a permanent negative one penalty. Rude. And I'm going to see if the dog's flame recharged because I did that last round. It does not. So the dog will continue to attempt to bite you. Uh, with advantage, because huh. it has pack tactics. Permanent neg one to my armor. Correct. Uh, and, that's a 20, right. and that's a 22 to hit you from the dog. Well, 22 is now the magic number. <laughs> my armor plus. Very good. Right. Fantastic. Yeah, I have no idea how to take that down permanently. We'll do it with that later. Yeah, we'll do it with that later. Like Qualish, probably. Uh, <sighs> so you take five piercing damage, and... Mm-hmm. Uh, three fire damage. Already halved. Mm-hmm. As the Hellhound nibbles upon you. Um, and the shaman is going to continue yep. to do the thing that it always does. Yes, of course, because, you know, I'm the only person here worth checking. You're the only person that can be seen because Talon keeps fucking hiding all the time. I know! You That's take, why it's frustrating! You take uh, three more fire damage. This is why I'm taking out the shamans whenever they appear. Oh, I disconnected. Oh, did you? Oh, you have disconnected. Yeah. Okay, I'll invite you in back in, in in a moment. Uh, no. And a Ooh. tick. Yeah. I've disconnected actually. Whole oh, game crash. Con check. Oh yeah, con check, please. Just hang on. Let me just load back into the game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Twenty-four for that con check. By the way, I'm not getting out of my arm. As crappy as it's getting to end up. <laughs> Because the funny thing is, if you hadn't bothered, if you actually had to bother to get out of your armor, you'd be fine because they can't hurt you. No, they can. Not with the heat metal, they can't. No, but everything else will then kill me because my armor. 
I understand the, the, the functioning of the make him get out of his armor, then yeah. everything else can hurt him. I get it. Oh, there they are. All right. So, yeah. so as the game crashed, so I have to take it, it rewound to a point before. So the bear bear is dead. The shaman is around. And the sword is there. And the sword. Yeah. I'm just gonna delete this skeleton. That's just the the dead wizard that you guys killed last round, last game. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. All right. Cool. Um. So that's Null, so Nullzor now. Uh, Alright, so 22 on your constitution saving throws. So you're not wanting to jump out of your armor. That's fine. Um, Nullzor was hiding. He will reveal himself and shoot at Barbados. Okay, so that is not good. Uh... Well, hang on, I don't have my dice roller here anymore. Oh, what did I roll? Just a random, <laughs> random dice. All right, three attacks from Nelzor. One hit. Uh, sneak attack for those. And uh, 2d8 plus 4. So 20 plus 14. So 34 points of damage on Barbados. Very cool. And the Hellhound was somewhere around the 40 mark, if I remember correctly. Uh, Talon. Sorry, I'm just inviting you back. Give me a second. Shaman, um, do I count as hidden? Um, yes, because it didn't see you hide. Yay. Good. Guess that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 14 to hit. 14 to hit? I think you're good on the Shaman, actually, because... Yes. Yeah, they only have 13. Yes. Okay, this is good. Plus five. Forty-one. It's a dead shaman, and your armor cools off once more. And, uh, I change shape. Like, I fluff out my cloak, and I'm doing my best illusion of, I am the fog, there is no one here! <laughs> um, and I, like, move a little bit slowly and do my best fog impression. Sure. And Barbados just raises his eye at you. Scarthra. <laughs> 23. <laughs> Sword onto the dog. Go for it. I don't know how many ones I can roll tonight. <laughs> I've rolled a few. It's just. And hey, you guys have rolled a lot of 20s as well, so <laughs> you can't have I've it both ways. I rolled one for stealth. Rolled a lot of them, though. Um. File the dog. No, I rolled two. I rolled one for one. Twenty-one. Uh, that hits. Uh, take off one of the d sixes on the the flail because it only does. It, it's immune to fire. Ten more damage. Right. Still up. Uh, 
Uh, that's 13 more damage. Oh, what'd you roll to hit? 25 to hit. Oh, okay, I didn't hear that part. Sorry, my bad. 25 to hit. Uh, you hit it and goes... <laughs> goes back to hell. And he goes... And Barbados just grins at you. He's like, oh, you're going to pay for that. Yes, you and everyone else is going to... So far, all I've seen is your dead friends. Um, all right. Uh, at this stage... Coming round the corner... Is... Coming around this corner, I should say. Is a giant owl with a human head. <laughs> oh look, another chicken. Look, look. Wait, wouldn't have what's his name seen it? Yeah. Ow. The fox did not see it. Broke. Yeah, it flew the into is rain. Busy being a dog. Yeah. So the fox is busy being a box. Yes. He sees it and yeah, but it's not his turn yet. Um oh. Office of the Wood. Stolos is this guy's name. Uh alright. Oh, and he heals because he heals every round. Alright. Coming. Actually, no, you don't even see, he doesn't even see him coming, actually. This guy literally. Hmm. A small a small door appears beside where you are, Talon. And this owl Ooh. thing steps through. Oh, like, ah, what's going on here? And that's it. You can't see me. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. That's it for that. Uh, Barbados is going to do his. Uh, Cloak sweep again, so another save, please, Scarthrax. Uh, which was that? Strength or No, it's a dexterity check. Dex, 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 dex. Ah, another one! Alright, so you lose another point for the AC. Yeah, of course I do. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. Ones. Uh... All right. Cool, cool. Uh, so that's all is all that he is doing. Uh, Stellos is there. He can't do anything because he dimension doored in Talon. Oh, Nelzor, I should say. Sorry. Uh, Nelzor sees all this going on and goes, "I suggest we get out of here." And misses with all three attacks on the owl. <laughs> or the human owl, or the owl human. Uh, Talon, your turn. Shoot the cloak swinger. Go for it. Does the cloak swinger know I'm here? Uh, yes, he saw you hide. You must have good perception. Okay, if you're hiding and they're looking right at you, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, 20. Not natural. That hits. Uh, alright. Sneak attack. I want to get that sweet, sweet advantage. 
I think you say roll more ones, because that's nasty. Mm. Move your hand, I can't see you. I'm sorry. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it that's matters fine. for determining whether you actually were able to hide it. Uh, let me just actually look into that a bit more, because I couldn't see around the corner either. Um, like if you're if you're here. Well, I was like rotating my map so I can count squares. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'll yeah. Be there. All right. Cool. Yeah. Because yeah, um, before you were behind Nelzor, which was a direct line. So. Yeah, but I, I rolled another natural twenty on my stealth check, cool. which is so helpful. Mm. Very helpful. Thirty-three. All right. Uh, cool. Scarthrax. Uh, so. Fifteen? Uh, yes, that would hit. Four, five. Mm-hmm. Fifteen again. Uh, yep. Three spots lost back up left. Uh, any none of imagine. those. None of those. None of those. Got two level ones. Going to use them. Um. And it's twenty-five. Twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First one. Sixteen. That'll hit. Yep. And I'm gonna rinse the repairs. Five again. Five again. All right. Uh. One, two, two. All right. Second. All right. Cool. Barely hanging on, but he's still doing it. Uh, he. Barbados is going to. He's going to attempt to stab you twice with his bone blades. Uh, he has advantage on these. He needs to buy me a drink first. Uh, no. Second attack. Uh, 21, which I believe is your armor class now. Yep. Cool. Not happy about it. Um, no. All right. So he's got Hunter's Mark on you. Mm-hmm. So it does additional D6 damage. So it does 2D6. Uh, so 8... Plus three, so 11 points of damage to you. Uh, and uh, another constitution saving throw, please. How much damage was it? Uh, is it eight plus uh, 11? Yeah. 11 piercing and constitution saving throw, please. 10. All right. Uh, you are poisoned, so your attacks now have disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you didn't fail it by enough to cause you to go unconscious, so... <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, alright, cool. What's that for that? Stolos! Uh, Nalzor wasn't really a threat to him, and his companions know it, so he's going to jump up. Uh, actually, no, he doesn't need to. He's a fucking spellcaster. Um, uh, but the thing is, is he going to go see Blitzo afterwards? Is he what? Stolas. What about There's it? a... 
there's a uh, character in a TV show called Hell of a Boss. Right. It's called Solus. Okay, I have no idea about that one there. But, uh, mm -hmm. All right. Oh, geez, I've got a lot of spells here. Um, Um, in your head, you hear a strange, discordant melody um, whispering in your ear, and it begins to make you feel really weird. Can I have a wisdom saving throw, please? Mm -hmm. 22. You're good. Uh, you take half as much this in psychic damage. Take seven psychic damage. And he shall uh, take to the air and fly over here. You see him looking at Barbados, and Barbados goes, Yes, I know, I know. Um, Nelzor. Have advantage? Uh, yeah, but I don't think it's going to matter at this stage because uh, he hits twice. Yeah, so those shots there take out Barbados, and Barbados just goes down with a grin. He goes. <laughs> Until next time. It just falls over. Uh, hell no. Um, Talon. Nuzzle goes, we've got to move. Turns back into a box. 5, 10, 15. <laughs> Trade places with him and I will 20, shoot 30. the bird guy. Mm -hmm. Does the bird guy know where I am? Um, at the moment? No. Good. 17 or unnatural 20. Okay. Both of those would hit. Plus 5. 39 hit points. Alright. Oh, pew pew. 39 pew pews. Pew pew the pews. Mm hmm. Um. And I will just duck out of his line of sight and prepare to chase. Mm -hmm. Um, Scarfrax. <sighs> um, I don't know if I, I legitimately don't know if I've got an image to take on another high level bad guy. Um, can't shoot you with his laser beams. His laser beams. His spells if you're around the corner. Yeah, I know. And then you can put more hit points back in you. I'll throw this sword at him and then I will run around the corner. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to dash. Mm, yeah. 35, 40, 45, 50, 50 60. 20 for the spiritual weapon, mm -hmm. doing 9 damage. You hear as you begin to leave Scarthrax in your head, the sound of... <laughs> Nobody calls me chicken. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Uh, 
bad guys to turn oh. So he sees what's going on. And... Just a, this is just like a general telepathic broadcast. Uh, come through in common, just like... We'll be seeing you real soon. And then... Flies over to the wall. And he'll use Dimension Door to leave, so... Yeah. Okay. And then the last thing you hear is, you better run before the Demogorgon gets you. <laughs> oh, Demogorgon. Um, and I think looking at the time, that might be a good button point to leave you guys. <laughs> we want to find a safe corner to have a long rest. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm sorry to say, you're not going to get that. You're being hunted out of this place. That's fine. Yeah. That, we want to find a safe corner actually... to have a long rest. Yeah, you know what? We, we can actually accommodate that all the way back to where Say that again, you dropped off. Uh, we can accommodate that all the way to back where we came in, and then we'll get the other way. Have a long rest, and come back and have a fr another crack at it. Well, regardless, we're going to leave it there, so we'll come back to this situation in the beginning of the next session. Uh, yeah, so for now, thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I have been your humble DM, Tim, and thank you to my players, Talon. Yes, we've got a demigorgon to look for now. And Scarthrax. Well, I'm sure the mistress will enjoy its company. And until next time, everybody, remember to keep on blending. Bye! Bye!